Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into distributed ledger technology. We can also call it as DLT. So basically, DLT is a protocol. It is a set of rules and regulations which is used for decentralized digital database. By the term decentralized, you might have understood that there is no central authority involved in this particular system. It is kind of a distributed system. So in short, it is a protocol for handling this decentralized kind of systems. It allows simultaneous access as well as validations across a distributed network. All the nodes involved in that particular network will be simultaneously able to access as well as validate the different things that are involved inside the particular network. So basically, if this particular node has to access certain piece of information, let's say this information, and now the same piece of information has to be accessed by this particular node also. So in that case, this piece of information can be made available to this particular node also. So simultaneous access as well as the validations before entering piece of information to the network can be done using this particular DLT protocol. It also eliminates the need of central authority to prevent manipulation. So basically, as I already told you that it is used for decentralized networks. So DLT makes it possible in such a way that there is no requirement of central authority. Let's say if a particular central authority is now a part of this particular system, that particular central authority will be having higher amount of rights as compared to the other nodes. So the manipulation rights will also be given to that particular central authority. The central authority can manipulate the piece of information that is available inside the network. So here, since there is no central authority available, so that is why the manipulation task can, cannot be done for any single piece of information inside the entire network. So that is why DLT helps eliminate the need of central authority. All the information is stored securely as well as accurately using cryptographical concepts. So basically here the encryption techniques will be used for every single bit of data. Each and every single transaction as well as the entire information of all the nodes will be securely stored with the help of encryption techniques as well as the hashing techniques. The data as it was received will be stored as it is. It will be 100% accurate. There will be no manipulation at all. It will be stored securely. Now, you might be wondering if entire piece of information is getting encrypted, then how that will be accessed by the particular user. Then it can be done with the help of keys and cryptographic signatures. So basically, if some piece of information is confidential to this particular node, so in that particular case, this piece of information can only be accessed by this particular node because some unique keys will be given to this particular node. Through that particular key, this can uh, this piece of information can be unlocked and this node can see that particular information. So access can be given to the particular concerned nodes, but they will have to maintain this particular key concepts as well as the cryptographic signatures, that is digital signatures. Once stored, the information forms an immutable database governed by network rule. So basically here, whichever information is stored, it will become immutable. As you know that there is no central authority. Now, as and when the information is stored, it will become immutable inside database, which is nothing but the network rule. Here, network rule says that the information will be stored in an immutable manner. It cannot be altered. It cannot be tampered at all. Any third party cannot access that particular data as well as the third party cannot alter or tamper the data that is stored for a particular concerned node. So that is how DLT makes it possible for making the entire system more secure and robust. So I hope the basic idea of distributed ledger technology is clear to you all. Now, once this is done, let's have a look at a simple example which will clear all your remaining doubts regarding the DLT concept. So let's see that particular example. So here, just imagine a multinational company that sources raw materials from various countries. So basically, this multinational company is taking raw materials from different countries and it manufactures products from that particular raw material. It is done in different locations and they also sell that particular product which was made through that particular raw material worldwide. Now, keeping track of every single item from raw material to finished product, it is a very complex task. To be honest, we have to keep a track of every single small changes that are done inside the entire process. So it becomes a very complex as well as tedious task. 
now to execute this particular complex task we can use dlt and it will simplify the entire process now how it can simplify let's have a look at it by certain points the very first point is provenance tracking so here dlt is going to verify all the raw materials that are taken from the source that is the supplier to the manufacturing unit so each and every chain right from taking the raw materials from the supplier to giving that particular raw material to manufacture different products to the manufacturing unit everything is going to be verified with the help of distributed ledger technology concept here as you can see this the process of verification is also included here you can see the validation will be done by every single node that is involved in that particular network so it will help to verify every single small changes here it will also help to keep a track of real time changes dlt updates the product progress in real time increasing transparency so here whatever changes are made every single node will be able to look at it every single node will be able to have a track of each and every small minute details also so that is how this dlt can help it can also be used for inventory management dlt provides accurate and real time inventory data so whatever amount of data that is required for processing as well as for you know carrying out different tasks that can be done easily because here the dlt keeps a track of every single small minute changes so it can also be used for inventory management traceability dlt quickly traces the product recalls back to their source so here the entire product life cycle right from the origin of that particular raw material till the end results of the product every single thing is traceable as well as on top of all these points security is the one major thing which makes this dlt special dlt uses cryptographical concept to ensure the data is secure as well as tamper proof so here in the entire product life cycle right from the raw material to the end results of the product everything will be secured whatever amount of data is used in this particular process each and every thing will be cryptographically hashed as well as cryptographically secured with the help of different encryption techniques which makes it tamper proof and the best in terms of security so that is how dlt can help to simplify this entire process of supply chain management so now i hope you might have got a basic simple idea about what exactly this digital ledger technology is if you guys have any single doubt in this particular video please feel free to comment it down in the comment section if you have any reviews and suggestions regarding this particular video use comment section for that for more such videos do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram because on instagram i post amazing technical reels which can be entertaining as well as it will be very much informative so please visit my profile as well as follow me on instagram please join me on telegram thanks for watching have a good day ahead